Hey, this is Brian Taylor with Zumba TV, and we're here with Dr. Stephen LaBeouf at Valencell, and uh, we're going to talk to him a little bit about their unique product and how it works. Hey, Stephen. Hello. So uh, Stephen's got a great product here for the uh, health and fitness uh, sector, and uh, it may even work in some other vertical markets. What it is is it's an actual piece of or a device, which is an earbud. And everybody knows about an earbud. They all have those with your iPhone or iPod, right? And that works in conjunction with the hardware that actually goes in the mobile device. So let me let Stephen tell you the story of that. All right. Uh, so Valencell, we're a technology development and licensing company. And what we've done is we've invented, the, invented this little sensor that goes inside of audio earbuds, like iPod earbuds and Bluetooth headsets and this kind of thing. And so while you're listening to music and while you're talking on the phone with your favorite earbuds, we measure a bunch of stuff, important stuff, like heart rate and calories, VO2 max, distance speed, and other things that will come out in future products. You can measure calories, too. Oh, yeah, very accurately. As a matter of fact, our calorie estimate is um, about the most accurate calorie, consumer-based calorie counter out there. That's amazing. Great. Well, uh, tell us a little bit more about um, how the product is, was developed. Well, actually, the company was founded by myself and two other scientists from industry. And it took us three and a half years to get the technology even work. Oh, so wow. <laughs> actually, it turns out it's really, really hard to measure continuous body metrics with devices that people wear because there's a lot of noise, a lot of motion noise, a lot of environmental noise. And we had to figure out how to do it with a consumer price device that people could already wear. Well, our, our vision from the beginning was we wanted something that people can just pop in and go, pop in, go for a run. And when they're done, um, they can get all this feedback tuned to their own bodies. It helps them achieve their health and fitness goals. Great. And then also in real time, while they're exercise, get feedback. Am I Perfect. in the right heart rate zone? Or Absolutely. Or am I burning the right, what's my energy expenditure rate, you know? So I assume you got, you, you developed your own software to tell them what it's doing and that works on Android, or how does that work? That's right. We, uh, we're demoing a few prototypes here. Valence Cell, we don't manufacture devices. We uh, license in the industry, but we make a lot of prototypes. Uh -oh. And they're clinically validated, usually at Duke University. And what we do is, um, you can see here, here's one of our apps okay, right here. Let's take a look. Where it's showing my heart rate in real time and showing the time since I've started the session. And can you see this right here? This is my calorie burn rate in real time. Now, um, if I were so excited that I just couldn't hide it, my burn rate would be much higher. That, that good looking girl that just walked by. Well. There you go. No. <laughs> and, uh, and so also, you know, we have the traditional um, uh, triangulation mapping to show people where they are, uh, okay. but, but our, our sensor technology doesn't require that. We actually, in real time, while you're going for a run, measure all this stuff, heart rate, activity, distance, speed, calories, VO2, and actually even after you do certain workouts designed by us on this app, you actually um, will know your VO2 max, your aerobic capacity. How oh, fit okay. am I really? Great, so this would be a wonderful thing for a trainer then to give out to their uh, people they're training. Yeah, absolutely, and you can use it in conjunction with training programs. Okay. We've designed the app to allow uh, training professionals to be able to use the app to tailor to their own training programs. So uh, what we do is, is, you know, we focus on the technology and we've, we've gotten it down. We have a product coming out um, at the end of this year um, with one of our uh, licensees. And uh, we, um, we focus on getting the technology to, uh, to work, be in the earbuds, fit to people's different earbuds, because uh, it can go in any kind of earbud. But also we provide an app that people can reskin. To their, own, to their own, or they can just license our SDK and make whatever app they want to make. Uh, for Great. The iPhone so a lot of our viewers are uh, developers, uh, CTIOs, COOs, CIOs, um, and this is something that you could take and develop too using their SDK. Uh, you could even have it manufactured with your favorite manufacturer, or I'm sure Steve would help you find a manufacturer, and they'll license it to you, and you could customize it to be your own uh, hardware and software. Is that right? That's right. Because people like different types of earbuds. Some people like iPod earbuds. Some people don't. Some people oh. like uh, deep in-ear earbuds. Some people don't. Uh, some people like the the uh, behind the head Bluetooth the sports that wrap around the back. Like yep. for example, this one here. You mm -hmm. know. Um, and some people don't. So we want it to be flexible to work in any earbud that people would like. Great. So uh, so far, have you? Uh, what types of uh, companies or verticals have you uh, been working with? Well, we. Uh, our, our customers and prospects tend to come from a few different categories. Mobile device companies, mm -hmm. uh, sports and fitness companies, also sports accessory companies. Oh, so, okay. Uh, sports headset manufacturers and this type of thing. But also, as you mentioned actually earlier in the interview, um, there's actually a, an interesting play in the health space as well because the things we measure are clinically accurate. Oh, so I you see. can imagine using these, for example, in a, in a um, fit fitness program tailored to someone who has hypertension and needs hypertension management or someone who has diabetes and diabetes management. Oh, so really? we're growing our products in the health space as well. 
That's great. You know, diabetes is one of the number one uh, problems in America, as uh, probably worldwide. It's wonderful that you can help people take care of that in their workplace. What a great thing that would be to have a large company be able to help their uh, employees stay healthy. Yeah, with a device that they already think is cool anyway, right? I mean, if you could just, you know, it's listen to music, listen to tunes, and, and get this feedback. And it doesn't take that much feedback. It just needs to be uh, seamless, and it needs to happen on a regular basis. And, and what we said is, you know, people might forget to bring their chest strap or a belt clip or something. Right, exactly. Room, they're not going to forget the audio headset. They're going to go with that. So each time you exercise, you're going to get that information. Um, you know, doctors say that, hey, if I just had a few data points a month, just a few, about someone's resting heart rate, their blood pressure, a few other parameters, that's all I would need to know how they're doing, you know? Wonderful. And we have so many touch points because people use these headsets in so many different activities. Absolutely. Well, I really love it. Thank you for your time today at the CTIA. Thanks for your time. And um, tell us what you think of Zumba TV. It's Zumbalicious. All right. You heard it right here.